Hello guys, today I'm going to introduce the listening section of PD. In the listening section, there are eight question patterns. The first one is summarize spoken text. The second is multiple choice, choose multiple answer questions. The third one is fill in the blanks. The fourth one is highlight correct summary. The fifth one is multiple choice, choose single answer question. The sixth one is select missing word. And the final one is highlight incorrect word. So, Let's get into the details of each of them. So the first question is summarize spoken text. In this one, you hear a short lecture and you need to write a summary for a fellow student who was not present at the lecture. You should write about 50 to 70 words. You have 10 minutes to write the task. And let me restart the question. As you can see, it will begin in 12 seconds. 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. You here, yeah, short lecture, you get the sound control. People these days increasingly complain of suffering from allergies to pollen, to cats, to dust. As you heard the lecture, but in a real exam, you won't be able to pause the question. You will be given a text area which has which has cut copy paste feature, and you just need to write about subjects. So you can start writing like the. Lecturer describes about something and she or he explains about something. You know, you just need to find the main point the lecturer has described and write about it in detail. And you should never exceed or be below the word limit. So the second question is. Multiple choice to multiple on question can be in the lecture. Right? So today I'm going to talk about the key things you need to remember when you go out. So that's the lecture. It's like saying that you need to listen to answer question by selecting the correct responses. You need to select more than one responses. So you can like uh, choose one or many responses. And you also need to keep in mind that if you choose the incorrect response, you get a negative mark in, in result. So you need to be careful and not choose more than the necessary answer you which have been given. And uh, also, you can't play or pause the lecture in the real exam. This is for video purpose. You can see the timer is moving there. So you'll definitely get a sound bar in real exam as well. So moving to the next question. The next question is fill in the blanks. And you can see the lecture will begin in five seconds. I'd recommend that you all try to get hold of English in the Southern Hemisphere by Nolan and Watts, as this provides an excellent overview of the topics that we're going to be covering in this module. It's really our primary text. It has particularly strong sections on the history of English in Australia and New Zealand, examining in some depth. So you have the lecture, you just need to listen to the lecture and fill the gaps. In the question and uh, in exam you can't play or pause uh, lecture you just need to you can increase the volume as the other task you just need to fill in the class and you, that's it so let's move into the next question is saying that highlight correct summary and you just need to highlight the correct summary among these options your lecture will begin in I'd like you to think for a moment about your hands and all the things you can do with them. So that was the lecture and you just need to select one correct response among them. Now you can check the timer in the question. You will have a recording and on the paragraph you need to choose the best question which relates to the lecture that the lecturer said. Now moving to the next question is multiple choice to single answer question and the lecture begin in animals as well as humans are affected by noise so that was a lecture and in the lecture you'll be given one question and you just need to select one response after listening to the lecture you just need to note down the details and then at the end of the lecture is completed you just need to think and check your notes and just select the best answer possible for the question now you just need to always keep in the track the timer and moving to the next question is select missing words and the lecture will... The 
This year, we're planning to use a different type of assessment on this module. So you are the lecture is saying that you will have a recording. At the end of every recording, the last group of words has been replaced by a beep. Select the correct one completing the recording. So I'll play the lecture. You do understand. In the past, students were required to complete two long written assignments and also to do a presentation on a subject of their own choice. We've decided to ask you to write four shorter pieces of written coursework this year. We're also going to be more prescriptive about what you focus on in your presentation. This is because previously many students lost marks unnecessarily simply because... So as you heard, there is a beep in the end, so you need to replace that beep with the correct response in the answer. So you can think about that. You just need to take, check the timer as well. Now moving to the next question. The next question is highlight incorrect words. The lecture will begin in about 10 seconds. You just need to read the sentence and then just click on which is missing. Like English had barely established itself as a language in England when it began moving to other countries to be used there as well. First it headed north to Scotland and then west to Wales. It then made its way across the sea to Ireland. That was in the Middle Ages. So you heard the lecture, I just highlighted the incorrect words in the passes according to the lecture. I just paused the lecture in the middle, but you can't pause the lecture in the exam. You just need to keep in mind that. And, you know, it's simple. You just, you'll hear a recording and in the transcripts in the recording, some words in the transcripts are different from what a speaker said. So you just need to think about among the question. Now no, moving to the next question is write from dictation. So you will have a lecture in 10 seconds and you do right. The new theory takes all the latest research results into account. So you have the recording, you just need to type that recording in the text box given below, you just, you'll get the copy paste feature, the word count is there. So that's it for the listening section. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.